Hola, hola, hola guys, it's me and I'm coming to you with a new review. This review is on face powder. Um, I don't know about you, but if you have oily or combination oily skin, finding a good face powder or setting powder is always a challenge. I know it is for me. I have gone out and tried drugstore, high brand, everything there is out there. Uh, my main concern or main problem rather is always it getting cakey here. If I get something that is translucent, it just pretty much turns white on your face which absolutely sucks because any white powder is going to settle in your lines on your face make you look older and it's horrible for flash photography because you come out looking like a ghost so I pretty much was hearing the rave all over YouTube uh, hearing from different people about this face powder this is from RCMA this is the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the 3 ounce size, which is a very generous size. And this is going for $10. They had this on Beautylicious. Um, I also got this, I forgot the website that I got it on, but um, I will definitely put the link when I remember the bottom of the video on where I got this powder, but they do sell this at a couple of places online. Um, so I decided, you know what, let me get a bottle, see what all the big hubbub is about, see if this really is worth it. So let me tell you that so far, all in all, I think this has probably been one, if not the best powder that I have used. That is very shocking for me because I am just so critical when it comes to face and setting powders. Um, one thing RCMA, if you don't really know about the company, um, they pretty much do professional theatrical makeup. Um, so a lot of their makeup is just this awesome, high quality, great coverage. Um, their coverages and colors um, are really concentrated to go with your skin tones. You can mix and match, make your own custom uh, palettes, or rather they have custom palettes according to skin tones uh, as in foundation where you can mix them up and customize a perfect color according to your skin tone. So they have definitely other products. They have uh, facial products, eyesh uh, eyeshadow, foundation, and things like that. So the face powder isn't the only thing that they have. Um, they also have different types of this powder. This is the no color powder. Um, they also have a translucent powder, which means for them um, that there is a certain flesh tone to the finish. Um, and like I said, they, they have a pretty... Uh, good variety of different finishes to their powders. Now I obviously got the no color powder. Their claim to the no color powder is that because there is no pigments and there are no fillers it will not alter the foundation on your face or rather it's not going to change the color of your foundation. So obviously I wanted to try that out and I'm very happy to say that I tried this for about a week or so I did not experience any change of color in the foundation which is always an awesome thing my foundation looked the same from morning on to night um, another thing that I want to say about this powder is that it's very fine I don't know how well you can see that but this just comes out so feathery light I mean, the smallest of wind is going to set this thing going, but it's just so light. I can't tell you how light this powder is. Um, and I think that's like what the secret is uh, for this powder. Now, it's very fine milled, so it's not going to settle um, on your face. It's not going to settle in the lines in your face. That's the first thing that I definitely noticed. One of the problems that I have when I'm setting under my eye is that I will notice that the concealer will crease within this area. And during the day, you know, I'll just have to like go like this just to you know clean out the powder or rather set the powder a little better I noticed that I barely had to do it with this powder um, another thing that I noticed is that and I am just very I mean I'm really guilty for just applying powder a billion times a day um, I also use the blotting uh, the blotting sheet so if you have oily skin really st I strongly suggest to always have blotting sheets on you um, but I use between the blotting sheets I will also use this as well um, I'm just a serial powder setter applier <laughs> whatever you want to call it but I actually did want to do it on purpose because I wanted to see if this could take you know getting 
piled up and piled up and applied during the day multiple times and I'm very pleased to say that I did apply this quite a few times during the day I did not really experience any change um, my skin really didn't turn white now I'm not saying that you can put this on 20 times a day I think that eventually it's gonna kind of maybe look like a little white cast eventually I'm not gonna you know do that but I can tell you that I did apply this several times a day and I did not experience that white cast or as much as a white cast as I do with other facial setting powders and that was a really great thing um, I also again realized that it did not settle in my lines it did not settle under my eye in the crease so that I was just really happy about I really did not find myself having to look during the day and just go like this and smooth out the powder um, there was nothing to smooth um, and the great thing is that because it's so finely milled, this powder, um, it's really not a problem to uh, reapply during the day. Now, what is my con? My only con is that I wish there was a sifter on this thing. <laughs> I mean, this is the opening. Um, the holes are kind of big, so you have to be careful. Um, I usually will just take the top off like I was showing you, and I'll just put some in the top. And then I'll just take my brush uh, you know, switch the brush in and apply it. That's really how I do it. Um, I also have a separate little sifter that I purchased um, and I keep that in my bag and, you know, if I want to apply during the day, then I have it in my little sifter. So, you know, I don't advise you to carry this whole thing in your makeup bag because it's eventually going to be messy. Um, so you might want to buy a little sifter, probably on Amazon or eBay. They're just a couple of bucks. Um, I hope in the future that maybe they can change the packaging and maybe make like a travel size with a sifter. I think that, that would be a really cool thing. So that's the, really the only con I, I have about it. There's no scent. Um, there's no color. And this powder feels so light. I mean, it really feels like you're not wearing anything when you put this powder on. It really feels that light and powdery. So... If you're interested to try out a new uh, powder, if you feel that your powder is caking up on you or giving you that white cast, if you feel that you just you need a powder that you can reapply during the day without worrying about it caking up on your skin, then I'm going to ask you to give this a try. And this is such a big size, 3 ounces, and it's only $10. I mean, really? They also have a bigger size. Um, available so they have two sizes so you might want to try that but I really think that this is gonna last a long long time so that's why I purchased this one and I mean it's 10 bucks really <laughs> it's so cheap and it does such a great job it really does so give it a try girls if you have problems or if you're just looking for all-around setting powder I really think that you're gonna be satisfied with this powder um, I am thoroughly satisfied so you know anything that can help out my beauty regimen anything that's gonna help out uh, the oiliness that I have because you know when you have an oily, oily skin it's never gonna go away but you can help maintain it as best as you can so give this product a try guys and thank you for listening to me babble and I will see you guys very soon adios